Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about D. Alembert's principle. Now we have already studied about the static equilibrium and also the conditions that must be satisfied to ensure static equilibrium in various force members, various force and torque members. Now what we do in case of the dynamics problem? D. Alembert he suggested a principle on the basis of which we can convert every dynamics problem into the static problems. And the principle states that the inertia forces and couples and the external forces and torques on a body, they give the statical equilibrium. Now what is static equilibrium? It says that summation of forces in a body is zero and summation of torques in body is zero. So whenever we have got a problem of dynamics and when we have to apply the concept of dynamic equilibrium, the same conditions will help us to solve the problem but with certain variations. So let's assume there is an, a rigid body which is under the action of forces, different force members. There can be n number of force members. We have taken three force members F1, F2 and F3 and it is also under the action of externally applied moment in the clockwise direction. Plus if this rigid body also has a virtual or hypothetical force which we are denoting as the inertia force Fi and a couple which is acting in the direction opposite to that of the externally applied couple which we are denoting as Ci, the inertia couple, then we can say that yes, this body is in statical equilibrium. Now the condition for static equilibrium says that summation of forces should be equal to 0 and summation of torque should be equal to 0. So if the externally applied forces is equal and opposite to the inertia force and if externally applied moment is equal and opposite to the inertia moment then your system will be in the static equilibrium. Now we know the conditions for the static equilibrium for a two force member or let's say there is a uh, body which is moving with some acceleration A and its mass is M. So now to produce this acceleration of course there must be force, some force which has to be acted upon this body and the value of this force is mass into acceleration. Now to satisfy the condition of static equilibrium, what is the condition? There should be one more force acting on this body in equal and opposite direction which we are denoting as minus F and this force the magnitude is equal to minus of negative of mass into acceleration because to apply this force the direction of acceleration will change and this force we are denoting as the inertia force which is opposing or I should say which is balancing out or nullifying the effect of the externally applied force to give the condition of static equilibrium. So if we want to sum up the whole thing we can say that in a rigid body if there is an externally applied force. So it's not necessary that there is one externally applied force they can be many force members n number of force members so what we have done we have let's say if there are there were there would have been three force members three four or any number we can find the equivalent force and we can reduce n number of force members by one force member so let's say this is the externally applied force which is acting on the body right and this is the center of mass c and along this center of mass there is this torque which is being applied on the body. Again, there may be different torques acting on the body and we can replace all those, the effect of all the torques by one single torque, right? So, the value of force is what? If, if the center of mass is moving with the linear acceleration A, so force will be mass into acceleration, right? And if this perpendicular distance, the eccentricity is denoted by a small e, what will be the value of angular acceleration? It will be force into E upon moment of inertia about the center of mass, right? Now, what for static equilibrium, what we need to add? We need to add this hypothetical force factor, which is Fi. And this Fi is what? This Fi is 
equal and opposite to the externally applied force which is minus of ma and a hypothetical or the inertia couple which is again acting equal and opposite in the opposite direction to that of the externally applied torque and this we are denoting as ci so the value of angular acceleration will be minus of fe upon i c right magnitude remains the same only the direction changes so even if there are n number of forces acting on this body or n number of torques acting on this body so the summation of all the forces plus the inertia force which is acting on the body to bring about the condition of static equilibrium it will give the value zero to balance the system of forces acting on the body and the summation of all the externally applied torques there may be n number of torques acting on the body right so the summation of all the torques plus the inertia couple will be equal to zero that means they will be equal and opposite so this satisfy the condition of the static equilibrium now let's take a simple example of a slider crank mechanism in this we are showing slider as body 2 the connecting rod as body 3 the crank as body 4 and the fixed ends are shown as the body or the link 1 now we are given Let's assume that of course this slider is moving with some linear velocity, sorry with some linear acceleration A and the connecting rod it is moving in this direction with some angular velocity omega. So angular acceleration will also be in the same direction. Let's say this is the center of mass C3 and this is moving with some linear acceleration A3 and now if we have to apply D Allenberg's principle on this connecting rod what it is the condition says that summation of forces should be equal to zero and summation of torque should be equal to zero so all the forces externally applied forces acting on the body will be reaction on body three because of body two just just don't look into the direction i'm just trying to explain the concept so there will be some reaction on this body because of body two and there will be some reaction on this body 3 because of body 4 because it is connected at two points right plus what it has got it has got the inertia force because the center of mass is moving with some acceleration a3 so there will be the movement in the opposite direction there will be a force in the opposite direction which is the inertia force there may be some other externally applied forces as well so by adding all these forces if we get the value zero then we say that yes the condition of static equilibrium is satisfied similarly for torques if if the question is says that there is some torque which is being applied in this direction right that means there will be inertia uh, moment or inertia couple which will be applied in the counterclockwise direction the value for alpha will remain the same what will change the direction it will be negative so again the summation of torques will also be zero so similarly we can solve for any question which is being given by plotting by drawing the free body diagram taking into consideration all the external forces plus the inertia forces all the externally applied torques plus the inertia couple